Welcome to another Video Marketing Minute. I'm Eric Kalis, Chief Marketing Officer for Square2 Marketing. I was giving a presentation the other day and, and an attendee asked one very powerful question. How do I sell to people who seem to know everything about my products, my services, my industry, and my business? And I thought that was a great concept to talk about today. Think about your salespeople. Their role has changed dramatically over the last 10 to 15 years. Where before, their major function was finding new customers, negotiating price and terms, educating customers, all that's gone away. We now know that as consumers, we can pretty much find anything we want on the internet. We can get good content just by Googling it. We can read user reviews on sites like Yelp, TripAdvisor, Angie's List. We can also watch tons of videos so that we educate ourselves on the process of buying this particular product or service. So now the salesperson's got, uh, role really has to change from salesperson or prospector to sales guide. What's a sales guide? Think about it as a cross between a problem solver and a concierge. And I think one of the best examples of that are the geniuses at the Apple stores. If you've never experienced that, when you go into an Apple store, you can sign up for an appointment with a genius. And a genius is someone who's helping you with any questions you might have, problems you might have, product choices that you're considering. And in that appointment, you're kind of brainstorming with that genius. And at the end, whatever recommendation they make to you, you pretty much follow, which might include buying some expensive hardware or software. And that's really a great feeling because think about how you want your customers to feel. Do you want them to feel helped or sold to? And I think the companies that really embrace helping people uh, figure out the uh, maze of uh, concerns and problems they may have on the way to a purchase far stand out for someone who just wants to sell you something. So here's a couple of quick tips that kind of change your thinking about your sales team. Number one, make a list of the 20 largest challenges that people have when buying your product or service. Next, create some really good content as to why your company is the obvious choice to solve those problems. Put that content in the form of free reports, tip sheets, guides, uh, videos, webinars, anything you can do to really substantiate how you can make these problems go away. Then, number three, use that content to train your salespeople so that they are familiar with all the ways that your company can help people through this purchasing uh, challenge. And finally, as a cherry on top, you might want to consider rethinking your company's compensation program for your sales team. Rather than the old model on paying them whatever they sold, why don't you consider paying them on how happy your buyers are after they're done the buying process? I hope I got you thinking differently about your sales process and your marketing. For more information like this, don't forget to check out square2marketing.com and we'll see you next week.